Rossi, and we're back here at the Rumor Fix Bar at Sundance Film Festival, and I'm here with Kieran Giovanni from Major Crimes on TNT. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me. Is this your first time at Sundance? Yes, yeah, I usually uh, avoid Sundance because of the crowd, but <laughs> um, I have some friends that are staying with me, and I figured, why not? It's going to be a beautiful time, and it's a beautiful film, so. And do you like to ski? I love to ski. I grew up skiing. We have a place here. Um, and I, the slope, yeah, the slopes are completely empty right now, so it's actually a perfect time to ski. Um, in but Utah. I have to ask you, I know for a fact that you are a badass on major <laughs> So, like, are you flying down the black slopes? Are you, like, kicking um, everybody's butt and busting out guns and saying, yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah, sort of. Wouldn't it be cool, though, if I went down with, like, you know, right? bazookas or something <laughs> while I skied? No. Um, no, I, I'm like, I can, you know, I blew it. I blew it down, okay, you know. That's good, I can that's black great. it sometimes if there's a lot of powder, but um, I prefer just to go up into the mountain, you know, when it's not crowded and kind of take my time. I'm surprised it's not crowded during Sundays. Like, no, it's, it's like everyone crowded. comes down here. There was no one there yesterday. That's great. Yeah, I like oh, squeezed nice. in like three hours of skiing yesterday afternoon, so, yeah. Okay, so your character in Major Crimes mm -hmm. really is a badass. Totally not like me at all. I'm like. So it's not, so. Did you have any training? Did, how did you get this? How did you get into the role? I mean, you have to shoot guns. You have to know a lot about guns. Yeah. You have to kick people's butts all day I do. long. I do. I get to kick a lot of butt, which, by the way, get, like gets out any aggression that you have built up that oh, you don't I get bet. to do in real life. I'm like, oh, I get to hit someone today. Right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I uh, actually trained in weaponry with an ex-Navy SEAL. An ex-Navy uh, SEAL? Like for real Navy intense. SEAL. It was really intense and you realize that there, why there's such a small percentage of people that can do what he does because it takes so much concentration. Um, but yeah, I learned to shoot an M4 um, so I can shoot like basically any semi-automatic weapon. I shoot a Glock 9, 45, double barrel, single barrel, shotgun. Listen to her, shotguns. she all the of all the guns too. Yeah, he really, you know, because they use every kind of weapon um, in whatever scenario is going on. So um, he was a really great teacher. And during filming, are you actually shooting the guns and the bullets are coming oh, yeah. out of it? Oh um, yeah. So we have rubber, rubber bullets that we shoot um, depending on the scene. But yeah, we, we definitely actually really shoot. Were you nervous when you first started learning how to use these guns? Had you ever been around guns? Had you ever you know, used guns? when I was little, I, you know, we lived on a farm, so they were around. Um, but, you know, when there's other people involved and there's, you know, a thousand people watching you and you're the only woman on the squad shooting a gun, yes. um, you don't want to look like the girl that they gave a gun to that's like, <laughs> you know, you want to look right. like you belong. And yeah. so that was actually, you know, part of the training was holding the gun correctly, yeah. walking with the gun correctly. You know, you don't just like yeah, flop around exactly. or like, you know, on, on the movies when you see people and they just like hold out one hand and shoot, like that's actually like, that would never, never happen. happen. Yeah. So, um, yeah, learning that was uh, a lot of And a of lot of people don't do their own stunts, but I heard that you actually do your own stunts. I do, yeah. I'm a trained gymnast and dancer, so it kind of comes naturally. And I will say, I told them the first episode, they, there was a driving scene, kind of aggressive. And I say, I'm, I'm actually really, I'm a pretty good driver. Like, I can stunt drive. And they said, no, 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 you know, we'll get someone. We're not sure. We don't really trust you yet. So they get this girl, and she's rounding around Larchmont, which is a neighborhood new in uh, LA. And she hits four parked cars. <laughs> Two of which had people in them. No. Yes. And she's like the totaled sun her driver. car. And so after that, they were like, "Okay, you can do whatever you want. Oh, and they knock yourself you, out." They let you take over the role. Yeah. Of doing your own stunts. Yes. So from then on, I've done. I mean, that's pretty amazing that you're doing your own stunts. That's yeah, it's great. pretty cool that they've let me. And luckily, knock on wood. Yeah. Right. I haven't, uh, you haven't hurt, hurt yourself myself. or yeah. any of that. Well, that's yeah. Great. Well, thanks yeah. so much for joining us. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of Sunday. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thanks, guys. Be sure to tune into TNT, the major crimes, and we'll see you guys next time.